So step one on how to automate song requests on your stream is to go to songify.overcode.tv and download Songify. Of course, I'll leave a link to this in the description. Click download and then click on download from GitHub. Uh, some people do struggle with GitHub stuff, but it's very straightforward. Scroll on down. It should say songify.zip and download this zip file. So once you've downloaded it, it's going to come up with this as a zip file. So make sure to extract it and you can extract it to any way you like. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop, which is going to be right here. And then you should see it right there. So Songify is now installed. You can double click on this to open it up. Uh, it's going to come up with this uh, warning about Windows protecting your PC. You can click on more info and then run anyway. So make sure that's running and it'll then extract all of these extra little bits of information. So that will be in your folder that you put in. It doesn't have to be on your desktop now once it's running it will appear in your taskbar so go down to the bottom right click on show hidden icons then right click on songify to then click on show this is now then uh, showing you exactly how it's going to look so it's going to have your artist and your title of your song as it's playing now it's not set up yet so let's start with that so go to file go to settings then go to Twitch. Now you need to link your Twitch account with this actual uh, program. So it does, it does already have my bot account on there, but don't worry about that. That you can add after you've logged in with Twitch. So let's start off with logging in with Twitch, link your Twitch account, very straightforward. It's gonna come up with all this, so make sure to put in your login details. And it should come up with this uh, little page right here, Twitch and Songify are now connected which will close the page nice and quickly. So let's close that already. Uh, so there you go, bot account uh, successfully linked to Minimal Gaming. Would you also like to add this account as the chat bot? That's something that I, of course, have already done. So we'll click yes, and then it'll add the stream account as the bot account as well. So this will essentially just act as the, the night bot or the stream elements that you have in the stream, but it'll just be your main account. Okay, so now that your Twitch is connected, we need to now integrate Spotify into this uh, app as well. So click on Spotify and link your Spotify account as we've done before. So it's going to ask if you allow Songify to connect to Spotify. A little bit confusing, but we're going to click agree. So now we've got everything linked in. We need to now set up the channel point reward for the song request. Now you may already have a channel point reward set up for song requests. So if you do already have that on Twitch, then feel free to skip to the next section. But if you don't, this is how you do it. Go to the creator dashboard on Twitch and then click on viewer rewards on the left side. Click on power ups and channel points, then click on manage power ups and channel points and scroll all the way down until you see add new custom reward. Click on that, give your reward a name. So we'll do song request and we'll add a description, request a song. Of course, you need to make sure that you enable require viewer to enter text because that's how they're going to tell you what song they want you to play. And the cost can be however much you want, of course, 2000. Let's just make it that. Then click create. And now once we've got our channel point reward set up, we actually need to go back to Songify to link it in with the software. So to do that, we need to go to song request, then make sure to click enable SR. So make sure that's checked right there and then go to manage rewards. Once you get to this section, you'll see a list of all of your different channel point rewards that are on your Twitch. And of course, you need to find the song request option. Once you find that, you'll click the plus button and there it is. Make sure to click that plus button. If you don't, it won't work. So once that's enabled, we're pretty much done. We can go back to Twitch and give it a test. So now once we're here in our Twitch chat, pretend we're live right now. Of course, your viewers just need to go to the channel point rewards, find the song request and then request a song. So the way that I have it set up here and a little tip for you guys at home is to get your viewers to say song name and then the artist. So have it in this exact format. So if we go right here, right now by Fatboy Slim. Now that is, of course, already playing, but we'll do that right now. And it should come up with there we go has been requested by mini minor gaming and has been added to the queue of course if i was wanting to do something else i will do the song request again and we'll do espresso by sabrina carpenter boom add that in and it has been added to the queue so that's the song request bot that's doing all that work now some interesting things to note about this bot is you if you're already playing a playlist and someone requests a song it won't play the song immediately it'll actually play the song after the current song has finished playing once that song has then been played it will then go back to the playlist that you were listening to before so it essentially works just like a cue. So you can see the song that's playing up there in the top right. If I skip that song, it's then going to go to Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter, which you can then see right there. And then once that song finishes playing, it'll go back to the original playlist that I was listening to before. So that there is a really easy way to automate your song requests and let the app do all the work for you.